Okay, so today I'd like to talk about the most popular hollowware of the 20th century. 20th century was actually a little late for, for great hollowware, but the France the First pattern by Reed and Barton from the year 1907 came out with a, an incredible array of hollowware. And I've got in front of me some of the pieces I really like of theirs. So, it, here are some goblets. These just came in this week. They're water goblets, people use them for wine, and they're there are several varieties of these. Some have no work on the foot, some have less work around the cornucopia, but these are the best. They're hand chased and um, very heavy, very well done. They're really a superior goblet. One interesting thing about Reed and Barden Hollowware is that it's all dated. So this one has like a little drum on the bottom by the sterling mark. And you can look in a, look, a book of marks for Reed and Barden, and you'll find that that is early 1950s. And uh, surprisingly enough, the, the, the hollowware from the 20s, 30s, 40s is nice, but the very best, the, uh, the best chasing, the, the best detail, that's all from the 1950s, early 1950s, late 1940s. It's really superior work. You know, we don't think of 1950s as being, you know, great craftsmanship, but in this case, it is. Uh, another item that <clears throat> I brought to show you are these candelabras. So again, these are 1950s France the First candelabras. They did several varieties again, just like the goblets. These are, oh, hand-done uh, chasing on the bottom. It has these little flowers on the arms and quite detailed, good size. There's another type that they did at the same time that were less money. These today uh, sell for about $12,000. The, um, the ones that are simpler, the easiest way is to see on the arms that there's no flowers. Base is not as detailed. Typically sell for about 2,500. So there's a huge difference between the best and the average Francis I Hollower. Okay, now, by far the best selling tea set of the 20th century and today, is the France the First tea set. Again, this one we just got. The most, they did tea sets in four piece, five piece, six piece, and seven piece. The seven piece has a tray and kettle on stand. But again, really nice lines, deep detail, hand chased. You know, this is a really nice tea set. It's, it's heavy. People really like this one. Prices are moderate for, for this tea set. A seven piece these days is a little under $30,000. The, um, the five piece tea set that we have here sells for about $11,000. They made several sizes of their tea set. Uh, the, the variety was almost endless. So this is with the large coffee pot. They did catalogs, and the catalogs, this one, for instance, is from the 1940s, and it shows many of the pieces. They made trays, bowls, gravy boats, lemon dishes, demitasse tea sets, uh, vases, almost anything you can imagine on some things you can't imagine in this pattern. Some of the rarer pieces are the Epern. Now the Epern is gorgeous. Here is one of the glass bowls with the silver around it. Uh, it's all pierced with cornucopias. It would really make for a grand table. Eperns are multi-purpose. Uh, you can put candles in the little arms or you can have bowls in the arms for fruit, candy, or nuts. They make a stunning centerpiece. Just imagine that in the center of your table and then with those two really great candelabras flanking it and you have a, a great table. I would say in France the first, 
Uh, there's many collectors of the hollowware. Some are quite advanced. Some of the real tough items in the France First hollowware are the punch bowl and cups. Haven't had one for a very long time. The epern is very tough. I would say that probably the toughest item is probably the martini set. Saw one once, and that's definitely the hardest piece. The Sam Lavar also is hard. So if you like a challenge, you know, collect France First Hollowware and say, oh, I'd like to, to get all of it. But if you want just a nice tea set, nice candelabras, you can't do better than Francis the First. Thanks.